So guys, welcome back to the vlog of our daily life in Nanjing. And today, we're moving and we're gonna move to a new place because uh, apparently the rent here, the landlord is gonna sell this house so yeah, we're gonna leave a lot of memories actually and as you guys can see like it's already empty, everything is clean yeah, I'm gonna miss this place definitely but you know life must move on I mean they're gonna sell this place and what can I do so uh, we have packed and we really have a lot of a lot of things in the car it's quite it's quite hard talking with the mask on too uh, so sorry if you guys could hear me breathing heavily uh, yeah so Everything's pretty much done except for the kitchen because we plan to come back again and take most of our stuff in the kitchen later on uh, during maybe tomorrow so yeah we'll, we'll, we'll definitely come back to this place just to take all the leftover stuff and for now we'll just move all the big stuff the heavy stuff electronics and all the stuff to the other house and I'll show you our trip there and I'll show you our new place too so stay tuned so guys we are here and this is our new place this apartment this area called is called Zhonghang Yuefu Hey, it's just right behind our school. Our school is right there. And this is our apartment. It's a really kind of like a high-end apartment, but because of Zero, we can get this place in like really low price. Look at this guy. He thinks he's cool. <laughs> Alright guys, so I've just finished uh, unpacking all the stuffs, uh, especially for my room and it's I think 95% done. Currently it's just me and Steven, Clint is coming later on uh, into one of the rooms. Um, there's like I think 3 people uh, aside from us. I'm gonna show you guys later on, but today I'm really really tired and I'm just gonna, you know, just get some sleep and then I'll see you guys tomorrow so I'm gonna show you guys around tomorrow and have a good night guys so guys it's the second day of moving and now I'm back in the old apartment as you guys can see most of the stuff are all already gone and I'm here just to take a few of my leftover stuff. Uh, I've still got a bag full of uh, stuff in the fridge and the freezer and a tripod. Uh, but most of all of my stuff are actually already in the new apartment. And uh, yeah, here's my old room. It's all empty. I mean, I guess uh, it looks kind of weird because I've been staying here for at least a year now and. Uh, it feels so empty and it's so different and yeah so I mean I'm gonna just take uh, my leftover stuff and then I'll go back to the new house and then I'll show you guys how our new apartment looks like and I'll give you guys a tour of the new apartment alright guys so without further ado let me just go back so guys I've just reached the um, vicinity of our apartment uh, this place is really good as you guys can see around I mean it's really peaceful and the apartments itself 
has kind of a pretty modern structure. And I'm here staying at the, as you can see, 26th uh, building, second apartment. Alright, let me take you guys inside. Together, you guys can see this is my place. And here's the kitchen. Over here, uh, we've got my, our microwaves and our uh, oven. And it's a pretty small kitchen, but I think it will suffice for us. And because uh, we're staying with four other people, currently uh, there's like six people staying in our place. That's why uh, it looks kind of messy because there's a lot of people's stuff here, other people's stuff here. And yeah, then we also got our washing machine uh, right here. And yeah, so we still kind of have our like um, stuff right outside here because there's no space right in the kitchen. So that's where we put all our stuff outside in the living room. And we don't have any um, tables for uh, eating because uh, they just, it happens to be that they do not provide anything here. Here's my room. It's open. And yeah, this is basically my room. I've got a television here and my bed. It's a pretty small room, around 12 meters square. And as you guys can see, I tried to pack everything of my stuff. I've got my uh, dry box here for my camera. This is the stuff for my food, just to store all of my foods and um, snacks. And yeah, here's my guitar and here's a place where I would um, hang my clothes to dry. Actually, I could still hang outside here, apparently, there's still a hanger, but it is not that safe. I mean, as you guys can see here, it is kind of shaky and I just made this um, by myself and i'm sure it will not suffice so usually if it's really sunny outside i'll just hang it out out there but if not then i would be putting all of this stuff inside here just like this and here's my desk as you guys can see here i've got a three monitor setup so let me guys let me take you to see upstairs here's uh, another people's room so <laughs> so this is Steven's room and his room is no, 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 no much more smaller around 11 meters square and you guys can see it's pretty cool and he's editing some video video <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, bro. Got a briefing here, but ah, you mean? Samba. All right. Bye. See you, bro. See you. See. Yeah, so that was his room, and this is the top toilet. Oops. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean. With all the uh, stuff, it looks like a hotel, the toilet. So guys, uh, that's it for all for today's video. Please subscribe if you would like to know more about the life in China, especially Nanjing. We will keep on bringing you guys content about the life in Nanjing, China. 
and also don't forget to leave a like and give it by giving it a thumbs up down below for the YouTube algorithm and also if you have any questions if you have anything to ask please leave it down on the comments down below alright guys so that's it all for today peace out